Namaste, and welcome to this weekly meeting of Warriors of Light. I am delighted, I am honored to be here with so many Warriors of Light all around the world. Swami Kriyananda often would tell us that our spiritual practices are the most practical thing we can do. Practical because they bring actual results, not only for us inwardly in our spiritual journey, but concrete results in the world around us, in our family, in our work, in society in general. And yet today, it can seem overwhelming the enormity of the darkness that we're facing, of the injustice, the inequality, the, the greed, the actual evil that we see in this world. And we see that it's growing day by day. And so we can ask ourselves, does it really count? Does it matter what we do here right now? Does it matter what I do in my meditation? But as Krishna says to Arjuna, no effort is ever lost. I'd like to tell you a personal story. And perhaps you've heard some of this story before but maybe not from this perspective. In 2004, a number of community residents here at Ananda Europa, we were arrested and incarcerated. And the accusations against us were enormous, they were overwhelming, they were unjust, and we were up against a, a wall, a high mountain of difficulties. Fighting for the forces of darkness, there was an ambitious and zealous police sergeant who was looking for a high-profile case to advance his career. And we were it, and his career did get advanced. There was a prosecutor, and she was not only um, zealous and ambitious, she was devious and she was corrupt. And actually, in recent times, she has been disbarred for corruption. The Italian uh, version of the Internal Revenue Service, the tax police, they had all of their forces against us, trying to prove that our dealings were fraudulent. And cherry on top of the cake, the church had its hand in, in the pie as well. And so there we were. We were in jail. And what could we do in front of all of this darkness? Well, we did what we do every day. We meditated, we energized, we went out in the courtyard and exercised, we served the other people who were there, helping them when they were ill, helping them with their legal documents. We sang, we did what we were trained to do. I also decided to do an act of conscience and to do a hunger fast. I had a feeling we weren't going to be there you know, for a long time. We were actually there for five days. And m many of us, perhaps all of us, have experience in fasting. So it wasn't a great uh, suffering for me. But the officials in the prison were extremely worried, and they tried to discourage me. And the director of the jail called me into her office. And she looked me straight in the eye and said, you shouldn't be doing this. It doesn't make 
a difference. It won't make any difference to how your case goes. And I looked back at her, also straight in the eye, and I said, perhaps you were right. Maybe it won't make a difference in the outcome of this case. But for me, it makes a difference. It's something that I have to do. I have to act in the face of injustice. And I think it will make a difference to my friends. And I think it will make a difference even beyond that. Well, she kept trying to discourage me. She kept sending me to psychologists just about every day. But I wouldn't be moved because it's important to, to stand firm and hold up the light. Well, when, the, when everything was finished, which was about seven years later, our lawyers came here to this temple and told us some stories that they were not able to tell us beforehand. And the story that impressed me and touched me the most, because it touched them the most, was this story. They said, in the beginning, we weren't sure about you all. I mean, you were all just too good to be true. There had to be something nefarious about your operation. But the day that we came to the prison, which was the second day that we were incarcerated, and we go often to that prison. It's not something we like to do. We go in there, it's heavy, and we can't wait to get out. Well, that day, we went into the prison, and as we were waiting for you to be brought uh, to the interview room, we noticed that everything was different. There was a lightness in the air. The people were walking around, smiling. They were talking about you. They were talking about your singing. They were talking about your attitudes. They were even talking about your meditation. And they told us, at that moment, we knew. We knew that you were true. Now, that was the biggest thing that changed everything, because it was through these lawyers and what they did that we were able to have this legal case that seemed to be impossible to win. It was completely absolved. What we do every day and what we're about to do right now makes a difference because every one of us is bringing a ray of light into the world. In the Bible, it says that God would have spared the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah had there been ten righteous people. Well, this evening, or this morning, wherever you are, we are more than ten righteous people. We are probably hundreds, and we join with thousands and hundreds of thousands of channels of light to bring those rays, that consciousness, to change the world. It's subtle, it's vibrational, it's practical, and it works. Let's meditate now. I invite you to close your eyes. We're going to do a little visualization. And in this visualization, we're going to draw into us through the crown chakra, the thousand petaled lotus, the sahasrar, a ray of light that comes from cosmic consciousness. And try to see that ray entering your crown chakra, a beautiful, warm, comforting, invigorating ray of light coming down your spine, through your nerves, 
illuminating your entire nervous system. Energizing and illuminating every cell in your body, every thought in your mind. Breathe light. Feel light pulsating. I'm going to read our affirmation, the Warrior of Light affirmation. But let's remain still in meditation without repeating it. But let's visualize the images that are contained in this affirmation. So silently, let's visualize. God's light is within me and around me. God's light is within me and around me. Try to see that light in every cell, in every atom of space around you, vibrating, pulsating, shining. With the sword of faith in my hand, look at that sword, how it is shining reflecting the light. With the love of God in my heart, put your hand on your heart center. Feel the warmth that's coming through your hand, expanding your heart. With the love of God, in my heart. I am a warrior of light. See yourself as a warrior in your unique way, your posture, your environment, your clothes, your thoughts, your energy field. I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere. See them here in Italy, in Europe, in India, in the Far East, in the Americas, in the Southern Hemisphere. Brothers and sisters in this light, I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith. Try to feel the power of faith again in your heart, to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love. Feel rays of love emanating from your heart to embrace those who don't embrace you, who don't embrace the light. Embrace those who permit themselves to be channels of darkness and to overcome disease with health. See yourself, feel yourself strong, healthy, vital, robust. 
We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. Visualize yourself together with hundreds of thousands of your brothers and sisters filling this world with rays of light. Your little light, your little ray, joining other little rays to create a blazing sun of light, faith, and love. Now focus at the spiritual eye. And please repeat out loud, giving strength and power to every word and continuing to visualize. God's light is within me and around me. Please affirm. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love, disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. Again, a little softer, more inwardly, with strength, with conviction, with love. God's light is within me and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love, disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. God's light is within me and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love, disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. Whispering now, God's light is within me and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith hatred with love, disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. And one last time, mentally, powerfully, endowing every word with God's power, his love, his light. God's light is within me 
and around me. With the sword of faith in my hand, with the love of God in my heart, I am a warrior of light. I join my brothers and sisters everywhere to overcome fear with faith, hatred with love, disease with health. We all are warriors of light. We fill the world with God's light. Let's visualize every corner, every heart, every mind of those who are channeling the light and those who are channeling the darkness. See God's light penetrate through the darkness, transforming thought by thought, life by life, darkness into light. Let's chant now the cosmic vibration of Om, the transforming vibration. Rub your hands together. Feel the warmth, the faith, the love, the power. And let these flow through your hands, heart and spiritual eye, out into the world. finish by chanting Om with Swamiji. As long as you're able to stay, we'll be here another couple minutes, sending the vibration of Om together with Swami and the Masters out into the world. Oh.